everyone. Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday. Let me fix that. I am feeling in a very Halloween-y kind of mood, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a Halloween mixed media piece. But let me show you some of the pieces I'm going to be using from Gina's Laser Cut Designs. I'm going to be using the um, Art Deco Border Set, which is really cool. Look at that. I'm wondering if I should lay this down and show you instead of like this, but it's so pretty. That's going on there. I'm using some of the Gears shape set. I love the Gears shape set. Some of the hinges. I'm going to be using the um, title Haunted. Very cool. I'm going to be using the big skeleton. Which here I think I can pick up and show you. Oh, I'm going to be using the big skeleton out of the skeletons set. I'm going to be using a set of wings that comes with these dress forms and doesn't have a label, so I can't tell you what it is, but below will be a link to the blog where everything I'm using is listed and there are links directly to those items there. So that'll be there. I am using some, I believe this is the Halloween shape set. There's a label, but I can't be sure. But again, I will make sure and it'll be listed in the blog. And I am gonna be using um, some of the keys and plates. And I am going to be using the um, Gothic Cross set, which I have it all laid out already, so let me see if I can get it out so I can show you what it looks like. Here it is. Love these crosses. And let's see, I'm going to be using a couple of more clock cans. And then the only other thing is I have this little remnant left <laughs> from the cobblestone um, what are these called? They're like background textures. So from the cobblestone one, this is all I have left. It is also going on this project too. So I'm going to go ahead and I don't know if I'm going to gesso all the pieces. I'm going to glue them all down for sure. And then I'll show you what we've got and we'll go from there. Okay. So by this point, I have already tried to decoupage this one time and Everything that could go wrong did. You can still see some remnants of the tissue paper. But first I used um, a brush that was shedding, so then I was getting little hairs everywhere. Then I, I poured my Mod Podge into a bowl that obviously had some watercolor paint still in it. But that's not really going to matter because I'm going to just so everything black, so I'm still going to use that. But... <clears throat> I think the problem was is I really want to pick up all the details on this so I'm gonna have to layer the Mod Podge on first and then rub the tissue into the details at least that's what we're gonna try this time 